today I have another $100 Torpedo Comics Vault 2.0 mystery box. So you saw me do one on this channel already, and it wasn't bad. Uh, I didn't get anything major out of it, no really big hits. The price is $100, they guaranteed $150 back. My previous box, I only got like $105 like back in value, so I didn't get from what I consider guaranteed value. I think they went by full cover price on the trade back uh, hardbacks and paper books, which they actually sold for a fraction of what the actual the, the original price was. So I think that's kind of how the prices got skewed a little bit. So the first one it wasn't bad. I mean, I got my value back, but I wasn't super impressed with it. But I do have another one here. So hopefully this one gets a little bit better. So let me tell you a bit about this box if you didn't watch my first video. This is from the company Torpedo Comics out of Las Vegas, Nevada. I've only purchased this company two times now. Well, this box is $100, and every box will include quality contents, it says. It'll have hard covers, trade paperbacks, exclusive limited edition and rare variant covers, signed books, etc. that retail, oh, that retail at $150 or more. So yeah, that's 100%. The last box, they re, or they took the retail price of all of the, the trade paperbacks and hard covers, and... Uh, like one of them had a price of $25 for the full price, but only sold now for $3. So that's how I said the prices kind of got skewed because they went by the full retail prices. So, but anyway, I still got my value back. But the top hit in this was a $30,000 Batman number one. It was graded at point five because it was such horrible condition, but even being that terrible of condition, it's still, it's a very rare comic book. It's Batman number one. It's highly desired. I would love to have it. So that's actually why I bought two of these was just at the chance of getting Batman number one out for a fraction of the cost. You can also get other prizes. You can get Action Comics number 242 are valued at $2,000, graded at 4.5. You can get Amazing Spider-Man number nine, graded 4.5 retail or valued about 800 bucks. There's also 20 CGC books valued at $100, $300 per book. So it looks like there's about like 23 boxes in total that are going to be like your big money boxes. And you've got about 575 boxes that will probably be like my first box, you know, where you'll get, you'll get some decent comics out. You won't get anything big. You'll get your money back in value, but you won't probably really be wowed by much. But at a chance at Batman number one that I want that's worth over $30,000 for a chance for only a hundred bucks, I had to go for it. So they made 600 boxes. So the odds of getting out like one of the top 23 boxes is like what, like a 5% chance or, no, I think it's even worse worse than that. Because 10% would be 60, 5% would be 30. So it'd probably be like what, a three or 4% chance to even get out one of the top like 23 boxes that have like the bigger hits in them. So the odds are not in your favor per se, but, um, there we go. But one person out of 600 is going to get a $30,000 comic book. This has no graded comic book once again, so I did not get any of the big hits out, looks like. So, looks like I got out one of the lower boxes again, but, you know, that's the gamble we all took. So here is what the box looks like. The Torpedo Comics Vault 2.0 mystery box. Gotta give it to them. They have the best mystery box boxes I've ever seen. Got the Torpedo Comics right here. You got like their tamper proof seal right here. Has not been opened up by anybody yet. But yeah, you've got the Torpedo Comics 2.0 Vault comic book mystery box. So here we go. Hope I get something out good, but... Um, a graded comic will not fit in this. I already know I don't have one of the top hits because all the top hits were all graded. So that does kind of stink that you already know your box is not going to be one of the good boxes. It's going to be just a mediocre box. Open it up. You have another layer of Torpedo Comics wrap. It is, again, bubble wrap. And it has one more layer on it. And now you have your comics. 
Okay. I got it back facing up so I can't really see. The last time the top comic was on the very, very top, so I made sure to put that on the bottom this time. So here we go, the first comic. Looks like we have a hardback. This has a value on it of $29.99. So they valued this thing at full retail value at $30. Box. This is Green Lantern. Tales of the Sinestro Core. So, yeah, it's still factory sealed. So they said they'll take full retail value, but this probably honestly sells for just literally a fraction of the cover price. <laughs> Next one, we got our trade paperback. We've got Astonishing X Men Gifted. They have the retail price of this one of 15 bucks. So just those first two they're going to have a value a retail value of them of like 45 dollars here we go with just the single comics first one a lot of these are going to be the torpedo comic variant exclusive because torpedo comics well that's a really cool right there they actually have their own variant covers made for their um, comic book shop but we have deadpool number one variant edition and that is actually an extremely cool cover that's actually a really cool cover. I really like, like that one. That one's actually really cool. Here we go. Next one. And we have... Oh, another really nice one. I actually already own this comic. Yeah. Absolute Carn vs. Deadpool number one. The one I have is a different cover of this one. I think, I, I think mine's actually... I think mine's actually the black and white virgin variant of this cover, actually, I think. But, uh, so I actually have two of this comic, just different covers. But still, that's an ultra cool cover. You have like half Carnage, half Deadpool. Pretty cool. Two Deadpool books so far. Next one. We have Quantum and Woody. I, did, I know this one is a Torpedo Comics cover exclusive. Because I remember seeing this um, online when this comic came out. Uh, there was a lot of variant covers. Almost every single comic book shop in the country had their own variant cover. Even like one of mine locally here even had their own variant cover for for that comic. And it had like two or three different cover variants. So yeah, there's a lot of covers on that comic around the country right now. Next comic. This one's a little bit of thicker one. We have Wonder Woman number 750. Yeah, so the last comic vault mystery box I got from this company, I had another one, but it was a different cover. Wonder Woman 750 just came out recently, what, a few months ago, and they had probably two dozen covers made of this comic. Like my local shop, one of them had, I think, around eight or ten different covers of just this comic book. So this has a ton of variant covers for this comic book, a ton of them. Here we go with the last comic. The bag has a certificate of authenticity on it, so I already know this comic is going to be autographed, so that's pretty cool. Here we go, last one in three, two, and one. And what do we have? Oh, nice. We have The War of Jokes and Riddles, Batman, signed by Tom King. Okay. So Batman number 29, signed by Tom King on August 31st, 2019, Torpedo Comics exclusive. Back there is the Certificate of Authenticity. And right here, signed by Tom King around the front of the comic. So now, let's actually go back, let's look up some value of these comics and see uh, how much I got back from 100 bucks. I'm looking at actual eBay sold listings, actual money changing hands. They have a price on this one at 30 bucks. But on eBay, one has sold, that is it, and it sold for 20, actually sold for $19.99. So, it sold on eBay for 20 bucks. They were trying to charge 30 for it, but I mean, 20 bucks, you know, that's a pretty, they actually, they're, they're going by their retail prices. So, like, they're charging 30 bucks retail, 30 bucks retail, but the actual secondary market prices are going to be different than what they charge as a retail shop. The terms of service, they went by their retail price. So I'm, I'm going by eBay prices though. I'm just doing it a little bit different. Wonder Woman 750, looking on eBay, there are literally, this is no joke, there's probably 50 different covers I'm seeing 
made by all the different companies have their own variation their own you know exclusive cover there's probably 50 different covers that's not a joke but uh looking on ebay this one was a virgin variant only 1500 it says on one auction that i'm looking at on ebay and it sold for 35 dollars then 30 bucks there are so many covers there's no no there's probably 50 covers from this comic book so 30 35 bucks so actually 30 bucks is probably pretty spot on for that actually sells for on the secondary market quantum and woody this is a torpedo comics exclusive not one has sold on ebay there's several that are listed for sale but have not sold so i can't go by those prices uh, like people are trying to ask like 30 bucks for an ebay but nothing is sold they're buying this thing at 25 dollars so i'll go ahead i'll just give them that 25 dollars value since i don't find anything that's actually sold on ebay i'm seeing actual sold listings for absolute carnivores deadpool 15 bucks 25 bucks 10 bucks 16 15 bucks this looks like it sells for about 15 bucks on average they're asking 20 so they're not too far off on price looking on ebay i can't find any of this listed so i'm sure it's some kind of exclusive one to do research to find it take more research but they're saying it's 20 bucks i'll just give it to them at 20 bucks so this book on ebay i'm seeing two bucks two bucks four bucks seven bucks six bucks so between two and seven dollars we'll say it's about five dollars that's what i'm saying with these trade paperbacks it'll have a retail price of 15 bucks but only sells for a fraction of that so this actually it it sells it's worth honestly about five bucks hard cover i'm seeing actual sold six bucks seven bucks eleven bucks four bucks eleven bucks so it'd be nice to say ten bucks on that so total eBay resale value on these, I'd say is about $125. So uh, if you took their actual cover price, retail prices, this is actually probably worth more than a $150, but eBay resale actual money changing hands value is $125. So I got my money back in value. Um, in this, probably the only thing I'm actually going to keep is going to be this Deadpool because I already actually I already have this cover and the rest of them. Even the sign one, I'm like, eh, I don't really need it. So I'll probably keep this Deadpool up. Probably the only one I actually keep from my collection. So um, the value was there. It was good. Um, but this is pretty much a $100 gamble to get a $30,000 comic. And I lost. But somebody's going to win it. Whoever got it, that's awesome. I'm happy for you. So the value was good. Will I buy it from this company again? Yeah. Especially where they put in huge books like Batman number ones. So I'll see you next time. I'm out.